out from the paddock. Here are the 10 eligible three-year-olds to be the 28th winner of the James B. Dancer Memorial. Ray says salutes the patriarch of the esteemed dancer family. Four-way paramutual entry. The cross owners and trainers, number one, Mystery Man, owned by the Samson Street Stable, Meinzinger and Newman, trained by Bill Robinson with Stefan Bouchard. 1A, The Globe, owned by Sharp, Letter Rise Stable and Silver, trained by Ross Krogan in the bike, Brian Sears. 1B, Brooklyn Hanover, owned by the Golden Touch Stable and David Sharp, George Brennan at the helm, trainer is Steve Elliott. And 1C, Radar Sign, owned by Newman Racing Stable, Silver, Samson Street Stable and Silva, trained by Bill Robinson with Luke Ouellette. There's the two, the real Dion, owned by Kelvin Harrison, who also trains in the bike, Jimmy Morrill Jr. Three, title search, owned by Next Star Racing Stable, a trainee of Brett Biddle. Between the wheels, Ron Pierce. Four, Channel Six, owned by Wayne Webby, trained by Danny Fontaine with Mark Webby. Five, Artesian, owned by Wojciechowski and DePinto, trained by Sam DePinto. Call to Mike Lachance. Six, two, four, eight. Owned by the Saddle Rock Stable, trained by Jeff Duplays in the driver's seat, Renee Poulin. And number seven, this year's Triple Crown winner, No Pan Intended. Owned by the Peter Pan Stable of Bob Glazer, trained by Ivan Sugg, with the regular teammate Dave Miller at the controls. Exacta, try, kick off the daily double. Post time is six minutes away. Some footnotes on this race. Only three three-year-olds have ever combined in the past to win both the Kane and the Dancer. In 1980, it was Nia Tross in 92, Western Hanover, and of recent 2002, Art Major. Here they come in the 2003 James B. Danson Memorial. And they're off. And Mystery Man guns right out of there. Radar sign. Paramutual partner stays directly behind. Channel 6 left out of the pack. So on the first turn, it's Mystery Man who draws first blood. Radar sign directly behind in second. Channel 6 is trying to get in. And comes the real Dion getting away in fourth. Then a parked out the globe in fifth. Right behind that one is Title Search as they head up the back stretch. The no pan intended is brought to the outside early to avoid any traffic. And comes Brooklyn Hanover on the inside, 248. And lastly comes Artesian. Three year old pound their way to the quarter in 27 and one fifth. And the leader of the pack is Mystery Man shredding his wares to a length. Radar sign getting a golden trip so far as they head into the lane. It's Channel 6 on the outside. It's just not getting it done at all and it's clogging it up. And Radar sign now comes to the the outside radar sign with an aggressive move and mystery man stubbornly is going to finally let him go it's radar sign has his eye on the lead luke with a little push in the back and now has cleared mystery man halfway home in the dance of memorial in 55 and four fifths and it's radar sign now controlling it as they hit the back stretch in the last go around on the inside mystery man now holds the second then comes the globe in the third as they head up the back stretch no pan intended is going to have to come up with a big one and now miller says if you got Got it, show me what you got, and has pushed him three wide. On the inside, the real Dion. At the three quarters, radar sign firing on all cylinders. Here comes no pan intended to see if he can get it done. Three quarters and 124 flat. Around the last turn, sent to the limit, radar sign. No pan intended. The strides are getting stronger and louder. Mystery man is back to third. Horse racing at its finest. Radar sign. Can he hold off? No pan intended. And the triple crown winner has now collared radar sign. No Pan Intended will add his name to an elite list. No Pan Intended wins the Dancer Memorial. Second radar sign, then came the real Dion and won 53 and 2. Ever win the Kane and the Dancer, the Triple Crown winner this year, number seven, No Pan Intended, 15th win this year. For this ultra gifted, talented son of Pacific fella, had a classic wish by Armbro Emerson. Owned by Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stable of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Prepared by Ivan Sugg. And delivered by the only driver he's ever known, Dave Miller, in 153 and 2.
No pen intended, adding his names to the likes of Abercrombie, Nia Trost, Nia Leda, Arts Place, Cam's Card Truck, Western Hanover, and Art Major. And now he hits the winner's circle, a very deserved winner in the Dancer Memorial. And in the winner's circle, representing the Dancer family, Mr. Ronnie Dancer, along with Mr. Dancer, the general manager at the track, Mr. Don Cody, race secretary, Peter Koch, and congratulations to Bob Glazer, who's also in the winner's circle, who's got a prize possession here, no pen intended, winning the Dancer Memorial. Judges looked at it and saw no violations, as is. Seven one exacta, six dollars. Try seven one two, nineteen twenty. Pick three, two one seven, eighteen dollars. I'd like to send out special thanks to our publicity director, Don Belock, for supplying me with all the good information on this dance and memorial. Good job, Don. Now we go to race number 13, Exacta Trifecta Superfecta, eight old melodies driving Dave Miller. Last call, 13 minutes at 4.30.